Bo, it was an interesting week for the Pirate women last week. Uh, overtime setback at Whitman on Wednesday, and then everything seemed to finally come together for the team on uh, Sunday against George Fox, a 3 nothing win. Uh, give us your recap of the, the week for the Pirates. Um, uh, a good week. Two, two different stories and two different games, uh, and always an interesting quest, the, the Wednesday matches. So we had three games in the course of five days, all on the road. Um, so missed, missed class time and tolls on the bodies, it's always ringing out everything that we have mentally and physically. Um, and it was, it was a tough trip at Whitman, a good opponent, um, and an, an opportunity for us to continue to learn about our, ourselves and what we do need to bring out of ourselves on all occasions. Uh, so not, not completely satisfied. I think that was the aroma and the taste that we walked away with, is saying, hey, yes, this was hard, but we have more. Uh, how can we walk forward now in a way uh, where that taste and aroma isn't something um, uh, that we are experiencing, um, not based on the result, but just on what we have given. Um, and Sunday, a great response, a great response. Uh, we had a great time together as a team on Saturday and the days leading up. Uh, some rest, some rejuvenation, some, some refocusing. And uh, yeah, it got to point toward these gals being willing to dive into continuous growth. And that growth isn't done yet. We still have so much more in front of us, but so great to see those steps being taken and walked into um, with our with our performance on Sunday, for the first six games of this season, mm -hmm. the goals were hard to come by. Yeah. Uh, but this week, uh, finally saw the fruits of the work mm -hmm. and six goals in two matches. Wow. Uh, what was it? Uh, you know, is it is it just a matter of the team um, becoming comfortable with what they're doing on the field, becoming comfortable with each other, or a difference in training? Where where was the uh, the results coming from sure for six goals sure um, soccer so tricky uh, so so just on the day um, uh, and I, I'd say it's a factor of a lot of items one thing I can forget is we have 17 underclassmen out of our 24 and to look and say okay this new beginning and this start to the season um, we're, we're taking a lot of newness and uniting together around who we want to be, one of those things is how we keep the ball, how we attack, how we create opportunities, and um, just just to remember the, the process and the learning that is taking place. We're so, so capable, uh, but getting up to speed with all that we want to accomplish, um, I think we're starting to see some of that hit its stride with our group. This week, uh, another little bit of an interesting weekend. Friday night match at Pacific, yeah. playing under the lights, yeah. and then uh, a day off, and then playing Sunday at Linfield. Yeah. Uh, so, how do you prepare your team, and and what are you expecting from these opponents? Yeah. So th this is tremendous. If we do have a road trip, which we do three times to Oregon during the season, this is how we'd like to do it: is a day off in between. Um, get to be with our men's team as well on Friday, the same opponent, the same venue, uh, and those relationships, that camaraderie, that will be a great thing. Um, and yeah, to have a little little time in between the two matches is such a gift for our bodies, uh, for our preparation as well. So it will be a long weekend on the road, um, but, but a chance to be together, a chance to grow in both of those opportunities. Every single opponent so so difficult um, and unique to prepare for so we'll bring out our best um, preparing in a great way for each of these two Linfield and Pacific and yeah excited to see that continuous growth from us continue to take traction and step forward